Yo, what is going on guys? I'm quickly shooting this video right now with these two observers watch watching me as I do this. We just did a, a hike here in Medellin and I wanted to film a video for you right now about the only two things you need to overcome your stutter. And this is the, the most foundational things that you need. It's something that I realized in a different type of consciousness. I, I realized these two things when I was about four months ago when I was on acid. When, when I was tripping on acid, I, I've told this story to a few people in my life before, but I was at this lake solo by myself on acid for like eight hours and as you guys know i'm a big fan of psychedelics for opening up your mind and perceiving things differently and i asked the question while i was in this amazing state of what are the two things not just like the two things but what are the things that i couldn't have overcome my stutter with without and there's two things that came to my mind and I'm gonna share them with you now. So if you don't know who I am, quickly, my name is Chase Gillis and I help people overcome stuttering the authentic way without speech techniques, without ear devices, and really just looking at the core foundations, the anxieties and the fears and the doubts and overcoming that. So if you don't even wanna watch the end of this video and that, that makes sense to you, you can click on the closest link down below in the description and book your free one-on-one -on -one call with me. But besides that, let's hop right into this. So I was at this lake tripping on acid and I asked myself the question, what, what are the things I needed to overcome my stutter? And two things came to my mind. I wanna hyper-focus on one of them. Hola. Hola. All right, like I said, oh, just by the way, I'm doing this video with like people I know in the background. Um, so it's, it's a challenge for me too because I'm not the most comfortable while, while doing it. So this may not be the most uh, value. Hola, hi, hi. This might not be the most, good, how are you? The most value packed um, video, but it's gonna be interesting because I'm pushing myself, I'm uncomfortable and um, passing some people. So, um, but still, let, let me tell you about my acid trip. I was very deep involved. Hola. How how are you? Hello. What's up? And um, the one thing I, I want, there's two main things, all right? There's two main things that I wanted to talk about. Um, there is one thing I learned in the acid trip that I don't talk about that much. And... I'm gonna to get to that on the second point. I'm gonna briefly talk over what I always talk about and something that was crucial that you need to do to overcome your stutter. But, and that is, ta is taking action. When I was on my acid trip, I'm like, I could have not have overcome my stutter if I did not have an action plan. If I didn't have a plan of what steps I'm gonna to do to leave my comfort zone each and every day simply because there's so much times where I'm just not motivated. There's so much times where I, I didn't know what to do. And if I didn't have a plan, a structure to follow, I would have used not being motivated and not knowing what to do as the best excuse to not take action. But you always need to take action. You need to make consistency with a new way of being so that you overwrite and rewire your brain so it's no longer in this repressive held back state but you're in a more expressive free state all right so having an action plan 100 percent is a must all right the second thing which i don't talk about that often i don't think really at all on youtube i talk about it all the time with my clients and even on my instagram is reflecting reflecting and don't allow that to go over your head because it's so fucking important reflecting and journaling go hand in hand so the reason why reflecting and journaling is so 
fucking important is because the reason why we have so much tension in our body and the reason why we're stuttering so much is because of the tension in our body. It's because we have, re we have repressed em emotions inside of us. <sighs> this journey to overcome stuttering is about learning to express these emotions that have been stored inside of us. And the, one of the best fucking ways to express these emotions is to do it down on paper, is to journal, is to reflect about your day, is to let all the pain out of your day onto paper so you're no longer having to hold it in. Hola. Hola. So you're no longer having to hold it in and store it and try to remember what you did wrong and try to remember what what you want to change for the next day and all and all the pain and all the suffering that happened today learning to let that shit go so you can wake up tomorrow morning in a blank slate with a minimal tension in you so you're not repeating the same day as the last you see when i wasn't journaling and i wasn't reflecting on my day and expressing my pain down on paper one day will lead into the next day and lead into the next day and start the snowball effect when i was and like snowball effect in the bad way of i had a bad stuttering day one sec it's rough terrain here i had a bad stuttering day and i would felt so shitty about it i felt so sad about it i felt so angry and frustrated about it that i didn't let go of those emotions i woke up the next day still holding on to those same emotions De depressed and mad and angry and the day the next day just added on to that but worse and worse and worse till I was in a spot where I didn't want to speak to anybody and I was so fucking scared you have to wake up in on a blank slate or very close to a blank slate and that's done by reflecting on your day journaling out all your emotions so you can wake up just like you're brand new, like you're a new baby. The more you can wake up and not carry the same weight of yesterday with you, the same heaviness will grant you the ability to create new experiences, new stuttering experiences, new, new ideas about your speech. Because the ideas with your speech and how much your stutter is controlling you and how negative it is and how much anxiety it gives you is only a reflection of how much tension you have been storing inside of you and not letting go of because you will stutter more you'll feel more pain you'll feel more embarrassment every time that you stutter when you're holding on to more tension so really really learning to let go of this tension so you can create a new way of thinking you can create a new way of feeling and you can create a new way of living is absolutely fucking essential taking action every single day with the action plan and also being held a, a, accountable and also learning how to journal learn learning the best ways to reflect on your day so that it really feels like at the end of the night when you close that you close that page it feels like you actually have a weight off your shoulders that's the feeling you want to go for because it legitimately is a weight off of you. It legitimately is tension getting released out of you, that, hev that heaviness. And not only will you wake up and feel in a better mood, but you'll also get much, much better sleep. And overall sleep and nutrition and all of that is essential to your growth, all right? So those are two fundamentals that you cannot overcome stuttering with without you need to learn how to journal, how to reflect on your day, and how to have the best action plan to take action every single day, even if it's just small steps, even if you're super, super busy, just five minutes per day to take action is exactly like you, you just cannot overcome your stutter if you're not doing that. And um, if that makes sense to you, and if you do not want to overcome your stutter by learning speech techniques because that shit doesn't work, as you know then again you can click the closest link down below in the description book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation call with me and see if you would be a good fit to work with me and my clients all together and overcome your stutter the authentic way all right 
by addressing the fears and anxieties and doubts and judgments of other people and becoming the most authentic, free, safe feeling version of yourself. And that is it from this hike. And um, I love you. I'll speak to you soon, pro probably on the call because I know you're an action taker. And uh, peace out.